Hello viewers, it's your girl Ify. You're welcome to this vlog today. I'm at the seaside and I'm checking to get a very good view. <laughs> but since I'm under the shade, it's like the lighting is somehow. But nevertheless, just like I don't know if I should face the front or face the back. But if you know me, you know my face. So <laughs> it's just nothing. I've been thinking, I, something got me thinking for quite a, uh, some days now and I said, okay, let me just talk about it, you know, when I have something to talk about, I have you people here and I know there are a lot of people that would get, give me a listening ear. What am I talking about today? I'm talking about taking what is not yours, yes, like taking what is not yours. Ah, I went to the center that was on Friday, the day before yesterday, and I was wearing my wristwatch. I bought 70 euro. Yes, 70 euro is money and it's not money, but there is something that you, when you get something you love and you love to wear this thing, no matter what, even if it costs one euro, it's yours. Yes, and you are in love with this thing, that, that's why you bought it. So I was wearing my watch on this Friday. I wear it to the center. The last place I noticed the watch was on my hand was in the therapy room with Dylan. When I checked the time, I was like, oh, let this therapy finish because I have a hair to make. A lot of you know I make hair. I have a hair to make. That is Dylan jumping everywhere as usual so i was like okay when i come out from the therapy center because i did not go with hobby hobby was uh, busy at work they have a lot of work to do so he sent someone to come and pick me to the therapy center what really happened i was i'm thinking and i'm still thinking maybe my weight my watch fall off in the car but what what will it take someone to see someone's Thing. like as I am now if I get to see someone beside me the person's object or anything fall on the floor I will kindly call your attention to it and said see your this is your uh, your thing has fallen or something like that or if I see it and I know it belongs to you I will quickly say ah I found this is this not yours but it baffles me when people take what is not theirs and they feel comfortable in it. I know probably someone has picked my watch. Dylan! Dylan! I know probably someone has picked my watch, yes, because I called the center to notify them and say, I'm looking for my wristwatch and the last place I saw it was in the therapy room. I'm looking for my wristwatch. They said, give us 30 minutes to check for it. They went, uh, they, uh, uh, they called me back and said, we didn't find your watch. And I called the person that took me to the therapy center. I said, please, did my watch fall in your car? Because I remember quite vibrantly that Dylan was like uh, putting my hand in his back and this was the hand I was wearing the wristwatch. She was, he was putting his hand at my back and uh, doing like mama scratch my back and I was scratching the back. A wristwatch maybe that can open sometimes, it just open on its own. I was like when I was, uh, <laughs> Italian people say strofinare, when I was rubbing Dylan's back I felt maybe this rich watch must have fallen in inside the car then. But I had this person say, No, I didn't see your wrist watch. And I'm like, I'm like, seriously, why are people so wicked? You take what is not yours and you feel so comfortable using it or maybe selling it. Is that right? Is that right? That is not right. I've been like <laughs> I've been mourning this straight watch because it's my best. When I wear it, it looks like a bangle and it's like a wristwatch. It's like a bangle. Maybe 
most of you may have noticed it in my video is black and uh, some like shining stone uh, sparkling like white sparkling diamond I'm so in love with this wristwatch because it goes with everything it's like a bangu it's like a watch but 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 I said why should people be so artless something that is not yours you see it and you take it probably the person that took it will not wear it to the center maybe the person will be wearing it in the in his house or he will probably sell it because the wristwatch is a a, a good uh, what we like call it maca it's a good uh, <laughs> maca maca yeah yeah Femato. it's a good maca but it's a very good quality watch and it's still new i just got it uh december period i don't wear it always once in a while i'm like you know what it's not good if you have the attitude of picking people's thing because you don't even know who this person is you don't know the luck that this person is carrying you don't know what you can get affected with infected with you get to see someone's prop property you pick this thing, you don't even care about the person's feeling when the person starts looking for this thing. Oh, it's so bad. And it makes me feel bad when I see, when people do things that I can't do. I wonder, are these people, a, a human being like me that have the same blood flowing in them, that like something that doesn't belong to you and this thing is precious and you see it, you pick it and you pocket it. No, I, I don't know. I don't know why people do that. I can't do that to even to somebody I don't know. If like I am the one that sees something so valuable like that, Dylan, you know what? Come back here. <laughs> Dylan is about to go away. Obi went to you know book for the lunch. He's with Mercy, and I'm here with Dylan and Amanda. Dylan, my eyes are on him. Because if I don't look, it's going to go away. <laughs> so, uh, if I see people's thing, like if I see something that belongs to somebody and I know, maybe like in a center or here, like we are in the seaside, I see people around me, I will ask them, is this yours? Is this yours? That is the way it should be done. That is the way it should be done. Do to other people what you know what, when they do to you. It's pleasing. Please, let's make this world a better place. It's no good taking what is not yours. It makes the people that have this thing, that have lost it, cry in their heart for days, especially when it's something so precious. I know I'm not ranting. What do you feel about when you lost something and you know you lost it somewhere that is like a secure place and nobody is telling you anything that they found it or not? Please comment put a comment in the comment section let me know your take on it ha Dylan Dylan I'm calling Dylan's attention because he's about to go come here Vianiqua he's going away we have to chase Dylan let's chase Dylan <laughs> come here my friend <laughs> you see this is my work I have to chase Dylan 24 7 that is what I'm here for so viewers i kindly want your opinion what do you think about people taking what is not theirs it's not good if you are doing it please stop you call the people that dylan you are the people that have these things and it's not a good one see you if he is at the relaxing at the seaside today but dylan wouldn't allow that <laughs> Dylan, wait. Soon we'll be going to the to inside the water. <laughs> Dylan is up to it. Didi, is here. Dylan, say hi to our viewers. <laughs> he jump on me like a monkey. Say hi to our viewers. Say hi. Hi. Dylan, you fall. <laughs> Please. Dylan, is at it. That is Amanda doing her things. Dylan is getting nervous. So, how do you spend your, <laughs> your Sunday? I hope you enjoy yourself. You go to the sea and you do something marvelous. Cool down once in a while. 
life is one and we get to like <laughs> it's gone it's gone <laughs> it's gone it is gone okay i'm waiting for hobby so i can go into the sea and have a fresh cooler <laughs> okay lovelies do not forget if this is your first time love me like you never loved me please press the subscription button below this side this side this side <laughs> that red button press it subscribe to the channel press the notification <laughs> bell so anytime i upload a video you'll be the first to be notified i love you like i always do see you next time and have a lovely day